do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power now hosted on the Money Phoenix Game Channel. Today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can update your free McBoot to the latest version using only free McBoot, no mod chip, no swap magic, nothing else, just your exploited memory card. So you take a look, there's my PS2 Slim, I have my free McBoot memory card uh, version 1.8 installed. And then I also have my USB thumb drive that has a copy of the latest version of Freemic Boot, which is 1.93. If you take a look at the screenshot in this video, I will show you exactly what that file structure looks like. Just download the zip file, extract it to your USB thumb drive, and then you're good to go. So what I want you to do is go ahead, navigate down to ULaunch Alpha, and press X on your controller. Sorry about that. Now, once you're inside the ULaunch Alpha program, Go ahead and press circle, and then go down to mass, which is your USB thumb drive. Now here's a trick. I noticed that with the 1.93, it does not include extra applications. So on my thumb drive, I have an example OPL ELF file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the R1, and then I'm going to select copy by press circle. Go into your folder for Freemic Boot 1.93 or whatever the latest version is, and then go to the install folder. And then go into the boot folder by pressing circle and then press R1 and press circle on paste and it's going to paste a copy of that ELF file. Now granted, you could also do this on your Windows computer. Just copy and dump all your favorite ELF files, homebrew programs into this boot folder. The reason you want to do this is so that when you install Freemic Boot or update it, it will automatically copy these programs onto your memory card. And this particular developer didn't want to do that for whatever reason. All right, so let's go back and go to fmcbinstaller.elf, press circle. And it's going to show this brand new uh, screen here. Um, I don't have anything important to save on my memory card, so I'm going to go ahead and format it. Um, so go down and press uh, yes by pressing circle. So I'm going to format my memory card. If you have important files, I highly encourage you to go ahead and save it to a USB thumb drive before you format your memory card. Now we're going to go to multi-install, press circle, press down to go to yes and press circle. And then it's going to go ahead and show you this progress bar and install the Freemic Boot 1.93 at the time it's recording to my memory card. And this process will be the same moving forward. So if there's a Freemic Boot, I don't know, 1.94, 5, 2.0, same process, guys. Use your same Freemic Boot memory card to install newer versions without needing any other mod chips or other special tools. It is awesome. Okay, so it's almost done. 49%, 49%. 49%, oh man, I mean, 49%, usually it doesn't take this long to uh, install, and uh, hopefully it does not uh, freeze on me, we'll see what happens, sweet, finally, okay, awesome, so now we press down, down, down to exit, press circle, and what it is going to do is going to take you back to this memory browser screen for your memory card momentarily, once you're at that screen, go ahead and press circle, and you're back at the main menu of Free McBoot, and we'll notice that in the top right-hand corner, it says 1.93, not the 1.8. Awesome. But notice that it didn't add any of my homebrew programs to the main menu here. Now, I do have a dedicated video that shows you how to add programs to this main menu here, but let me just show you a really quick example to save you guys some time. So let's go to my Free McBoot configurator. So I'm going to press X here. And inside this new window menu, I'm going to press circle here. I'm going to go down to configure the OSD sys options. And here's some default uh, options here. So I'm going to scroll through it real quick and I see there's no OPL. So let's go ahead and make one. So I'm going to press circle. Give it a name, press circle. So I'll press circle on all your letters here. So OPL. And then I press square for space. And I'm going to say point, <clears throat> point 0.9, um, 2 I think is what I have. And then I press OK, circle. Path 1, so press circle, and I'm going to go to MC0, that's where my memory card is, and we'll go down to the boot folder, press circle, and here is open PS2 loader that I was talking about. So I'm going to press circle on that elf, and I press return, and then go down here to return again, press circle, and then I'm going to say save the config to MC0, press circle on that, and then press circle on exit, and now we're good to go. We'll go back to the main menu of Freemic Boot 1.93 or whatever the latest version is going to be. Um, this one's a little bit different, so I'll press circle on this memory browser. Did not used to do that with 1.8, so that's just something, uh, a little technicality there. 
Now we go press down, 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 OPL.92, awesome, press X, and it's going to load my OPL program, just like I expected to. And if you guys are curious on how to use OPL, uh, <laughs> we got, I got different tutorials in the PS2 playlist, but bottom line is when you go to settings, press X, just make sure that all these options here, press X, um, and press down, make sure they are manual, like so, manual, and press X on OK, and then click on start, and now you see all your different items here. I don't have a USB thumb drive with games or a hard drive connected right now. But if you see my other videos on OPL.8 or .9, it's all the same idea, all the same process. And let me go back to power uh, exit. Sorry, press X on the exit. And we're back to the Freemic Boot main menu 1.93. So when new versions of Freemic Boot comes out in the future, use the same process, using the same memory card, and you're good to go. So hopefully that is... Uh, a good tutorial to help you guys. If you guys like this video, like, favorite, subscribe. Otherwise, if you have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.